By default, in DaVinci Resolve, we have the regular bin with the master folder where you can store all different types of media files. Power bin, on the other hand, is hidden. So to reveal power bin, well, we need to click on the three dots at the top right corner here and in the menu, select show power bins. So this will reveal power bin at the bottom of the media pool section and you will see that we have the default master folder where we can store different types of assets. So the primary purpose of a power bin is to allow files to be shared across all the projects in DaVinci Resolve. Now, in my case, I have a few different projects going on here, and all of them have files local to each project stored in the regular bin and cannot be shared across all the projects. So that's where power bin can become very handy. So with that said, let's just go ahead and click into this other project that I have here. You will see I have footage stored in the regular bin, but it's only local to this project. And if we click into power bin, now we don't have anything going on. So what we're going to do is to come back to the previous project and we're going to look at how to start to move media files to the power bin. To start off, we can simply drag and drop files from the regular bin to the power bin. So if we go to the master folder in the power bin, you can see this file right here. And this file also still exists in the regular bin. So now let's save all these changes. And what we're going to do is to go to this other project uh, that we were in earlier and go to power bin. You will now see that, hey, we have this file that can be used for this project as well. Now let's go back to uh, the other project. And another way to move files to power bin is to drag and drop from a local folder on your machine. So as you can see, we have all these different media files here and all of them can be stored in power bin. Uh, power bin is great for things like b-roll adjustment clip soundtracks music uh, you know your animations motion graphics uh, stock footage stills uh, or even your fusion compositions clip uh, so all these files can be stored in power bin all right with that said let's now go to this other project and go to power bin you will see that once again all these different types of media files can be used for editing in this project as well as all the other projects in the venture resolve and just like a regular bin you have the ability to create multiple bins or folders within power bin so let's right click master bin and in the menu select new bin and so this as you can see it's going to create a new bin for you and you can name it however you want so now you have a new bin within the master bin and you can now start to move media files to uh, this uh, new bin now another way to move media files to power bins is to move a clips in the timeline directly into power bin so this is very convenient as well and you just simply drag and drop lastly as we mentioned earlier adjustment clip can also be great for power bins so with that said let's just bring in an adjustment clip and then let's take it to the fusion page so what we're going to do here is to create a very uh, simple animation uh, where the text is going to zoom in uh, throughout the clip so now let's take it back to the edit page you will see that that is exactly what's happening so now let's uh, just drag and drop it into power bin and let's save all the changes now let's go to this other project here and you will see that in power bin we can now reuse this same animation uh, in another project so uh, that's the beauty here and you can do this with fusion composition clip uh, as well so these can be very handy especially if you have a lot of animations that you create on a regular basis but power bin is not without its limitations so if we were to go ahead and convert these two clips into a compound clip right now and if we were to drag and drop this compound clip to the power bin you will see that it will actually give us an error message saying that this type of file is not supported in power bin and no matter how hard we try no matter how we try to bring this clip into power bin it just won't work so in situations like this the good news is that we have workarounds. So one solution is to use a, fu a fusion composition clip. This can be especially helpful uh, if you have or if you're doing compositing with multiple clips. But the key thing here to remember is that let's not use files directly from the media pool because they are local to this project. So what we're going to do is to go to uh, the folder uh, in your local machine and then uh, bring these files into the Fusion page, uh, you know, finish your compositing. And then once that is done, let's uh, go back to the edit page. Uh, you can now go ahead and uh, drag and drop this Fusion composition clip uh, into the power bin. 
uh, which can then be shared across all the projects. Another solution here is to export the content to a clip on your local machine. A few different ways to go about that. First is to go to the cut page. Up top, you see the quick export feature there. So click that and then you can easily export this clip uh, onto your local machine. It's very easy. And then you can also, of course, use the in and out points to specify uh, which part of the clip you want to be exported. Now, of course, you can always use the good old fashioned deliver page. So go there and then you can choose exactly how you want. You can be more specific about the export settings there, uh, but the idea is exactly the same. And last but not the least, you can render this clip in place by right click it and then in the menu, select render in place, choose your render setting. But with all these different methods, the idea is that once it's exported, let's bring that clip back into the power bin. All right, guys, I hope this helps. And as always, I will see you next time.